Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a different side of my makeup routine. Usually I show you super glam. Today I'm going to show you my mom on the go makeup and hair. That means that I have to get up early in the morning, look fresh and ready for everybody. Drop Jaden off at school on time, go to a meeting, and just look presentable. So I'm going to be showing you my routine for my makeup and my hair. It's very quick and easy, but you look like the best version of yourself. And my hair. My hair is something that I struggle with because it's wavy and frizzy naturally. This video is sponsored by Dyson so thank you guys but first I'm gonna be giving you my tips and tricks on how to cut time down and look fresh and beautiful very quickly so if you want to see how I did that don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be a part of the Dom fam I almost did it and without further ado let's get into the video all right so I just got out of the shower and I need to dry and style my hair super quick so what I do is take my Dyson supersonic hair dryer it's small it's fast and it just cuts down my styling and drying time. It's really fast. It has a high pressure and high velocity jet of controlled air. While it's drying, I can also style it because it has different attachments. So the ones that I like to use are the smoothing nozzle and the styling concentrator. I like that it prevents extreme heat damage to help protect the shine in my hair. And you're gonna notice how shiny it is once I'm done styling it. I also love that it's magnetic. It just pops on so easy. You don't have to worry about it falling off. And then you can rotate it so you can really adjust it to how you want style your hair. I like that the attachments create a controlled airflow. So the first one I'm using is this one right here. It's a smoothing nozzle and with the smoothing nozzle it'll help you control the airflow so that it creates a smooth and natural finish in your hair. And what I like to do is flip it over to one side. I'll dry it over for a few minutes and then I'll flip it over to the other side kind of like right to left and then I'll flip over the back as well. And the reason that I like to flip my hair completely over right to left and then the back is so that I can create a natural volume in my hair. And it also helps the little cowlick I have in the back of my head just straighten out and not create this curve. And it's easier to style. And I'll do that until I am ready to use my second attachment. The next one that I use is called the Styling Concentrator. It's a wide, thin design, and it creates a high-velocity blade of air that's perfect for styling because the air is so focused it can style so precisely one section at a time without disturbing the rest of the hair so it creates a really nice bend or you can go for like super sleek look and it does it really really fast so that was my mom on the go hair it's voluminous it's sleek there's actually no frizzies in my hair naturally is so frizzy and dull and it, it's way more shinier it's just i'm so happy much happier about my hair now and i can get out the house so now that my hair is done i'm gonna go ahead and show you how i get my quick on the go mom makeup this is when I am running late in the morning. I have job taken off at school. I have a meeting in the morning and other things going on and I need to get out of the house quickly, but I can't look like this. You know, my face cannot go outside looking like this. So what I wanna do is I wanna make sure that my skin looks good, that I look healthy. So the first thing that I grab is a priming moisturizer for me. It's better if it has an SPF because I'm gonna be running around all day. I don't want the UV rays really harming my skin. So I'm gonna use this one right here. This is the Too Faced Hangover, which is like all the things that I want in one. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that on my hand oh, and on my shoulder. This is like a real situation that would happen. And then it gets on my shirt and I have to change my shirt really quick. <laughs> it didn't mess my shirt up, so we're good. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop that on my skin really quickly. And I don't like to tug on my face too hard so I just lightly go over with it and while I let that set I do my brows first because my brows take me the longest. I feel like I'm in a rush right now just because I'm in that mode like that I need to go mode but I'm not in a rush I just want to show you guys how I actually get this done right. This is like a go-to of mine because it's, it has a spoolie on the end. It has a really narrow pencil so you can really draw out your brows and I have a lot of brow to draw out, so let's get into it. The first thing I like to do is start at the bottom. You see this crazy like thing that I have going on here? I just like to make them even, so I quickly just sketch them in, and then I draw a little few of them in the front. And at this point, I don't try to do anything new to my brow, I just want them to look even. And my brow looks like a normal human brow because this brow is missing a few parts, you know? We just want it to have a front, middle, and end. So now that I fill my brow in, I just quickly go over with a brow gel so they don't move around during the day. My brows at the ends tend to go downwards. So I'm taking the 24-hour brow setter and I'm just gonna brush this lightly on the brows. 
to set them in place. It just makes it look like that swept up model brow. I think that is such a beautiful brow and it just looks clean. I like it a lot. And they really don't move at all once you put this stuff on them. So I really like this. That's basically all I do. Some days are better than others. When I get to this point where I'm like, okay, I'm taking way too long on my brows and I really need to go, I'll just throw, I have my purse and I'll just throw this in the purse and I'll sit there and play with them later. Also, thing, a thing you have to remember is try not to do your makeup so close up when you're in a rush. You're gonna take so much longer than what you would. So when I go too close, I'm like, oh my God, there's so much I'm missing. When in reality, nobody's looking that hard. Are they? <laughs> no, I'm just gonna set this to the side and now I'm gonna go on to my eyes. The next thing I definitely go to is my under eye circles. So I take my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. This one I like for an on the go kind of moment because it is going to set itself. And the coverage is pretty nice. It's not like crazy intense full coverage, but it is a nice buildable coverage that I really like. So I'm just gonna take that in the center of my face, right where my nose is red and on the chin. Kind of let it sit for like a few seconds, not too long. And then I go in with just a beauty blender of some kind or a makeup sponge of some kind and softly work that in to all the red spots, the dark areas, just evening everything out like that. I have started to get oily in my T-zone for some weird reason. I've always had a dry skin type, but lately it's been changing up on me and I'm like, what is going on? I kind of like it. But at the same time, I'm not used to it. So I have to change up some of my products. I'm gonna put this over my eye just so they look a little bit, you know, not as brown and discolored. It looks a little more even. And I'll just go slightly over my cheeks if I need to. It's usually a little red depending on how the day is treating me. And I won't put on foundation because you really don't need it if you're just kind of running errands. I am just trying to look like a better version of myself. I'm gonna set my under eyes with some setting powder really quick. I have really been loving the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. It is so amazing and I'm doing this. The concealer sets itself and I kind of should have left it like that to be honest. That's why I put it on. You don't have to set it but I just said it. I wanted to show you guys that I get oily now, so I do have to set my T-zone. Here we are. We're not gonna be oily anymore. Now we're nice and matte. So that's pretty much all that I do on my eyes. I'll take it a little over my eyes too, just because I want to add some bronzer in there. My go-to thing for my face is bronzer. For my face and eyes, I'm using the Fenty one. I really love this color. This is Shady Biz, and I just take a, just a large, powder brush really. And I'm just gonna take that on my cheekbones just to add something and right over the top of my brow, temple and forehead. But I don't wanna take it all the way in. Just wanna add some color into my face. I wanna add a flush of color. I've been loving this Nude Sticks Nudies Matte. This is a situation happening, but I really like this stuff. So I'm just using this little brush and just putting it on my cheeks to add a flush of color. So now I'm gonna take my beauty blender and really work that in. I like a nice blush stick because I feel like it looks natural. It looks more natural than the powder. And for my skin type, I feel like it doesn't show texture as much than powders do. So now that I'm done with that, I'm just going to curl my lashes really quick with this lash curler right here. I just like pump it for like five seconds and then I slowly work my way upwards until it's nice and curled. Before I put on mascara, which was I was about to grab right now, I'm gonna take the bronzer right here and just put that in my crease. So it looks like I tried. Anything that I can multi-purpose in this instance is best. So that's my kind of like mom on the go tip is something you can multi-purpose, like a bronzer, you can use it for your face, your eyes. You can even contour with it depending on the shade. I have them very accessible and close by and I can just grab and do it on my face and be done with it. After that, I use some mascara. The mascara I like is the Essence Lash Princess. Everybody needs to try this. It's super affordable. It's really, really good. It really makes your lashes stand up. Like you don't even need much of it for it to work its magic. If I'm on the go, I'm not gonna put lashes on. So I'll just make sure I have a mascara close by because I do have my like hurry up, you gotta go area in my restroom just because you never know. 
and I want to be prepared. So I would suggest for you guys, if you're kind of a mom in a situation where you might need to get up and go now, I would keep all the quick drying, waterproof, multi-purpose things right by your sink or wherever you normally get ready. Do you see how awake I look now? Put it on your lower lashes like you're scared of them and that is my technique because <laughs> It almost always gets on that lower lid, or what do you call that, your lower lid? We have lashes. And then if I have a little bit more time, there is this single shadow by Shiseido. It's called Cosmic. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on my lid like that. And actually you can use it as a highlight. And these are really good to use on your lids. Once I'm done with that, I pretty much am done. All I'm gonna do is put on some lip gloss. You wanna use something that's long wearing and, and hydrating. This one is from Domini Cosmetics, my brand. This is the Lemonade Peach Tea Gloss. And just put that all over your lip. Smells good, lasts long. That is pretty much my entire look for my mom on the go. This is my hair and I just feel like I'm put together and I tried but it didn't take me hours. I would say this takes me about a total of 20 minutes because I have to do my hair really quick. That takes about 10 and then another for my makeup which when I'm not talking to you guys and explaining every step takes me about five minutes. No joke. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If I helped you in some way, please thumbs it up because I always try to pop in my little tips and tricks. I don't know if a lot of you guys know that I am a mom and I do have a lot of cut down time. Anything that I have can multi-purpose, I do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And a huge thanks to Dyson for sponsoring this video. If you haven't seen my other videos, they are over here for you guys to check out. And also, if you didn't know about my family channel, which is my second channel with my son and my husband, make sure to check that out as well. It's called Dominique Fam. So that's pretty much it. I love you guys. I hope you have an amazing day. Don't forget that you are beautiful inside and out. Keep smiling.